another resize. Today we are at Rooms To Go looking for something to make in miniature. Do you wanna follow, baby? Ooh, look. This is called a scribble mirror. That's kind of crazy and kind of cool at the same time. I also really like this little lamp. Looks like something we actually have in the house. And this side table Pretty cool, but it's made of metal, and that might be a difficult material to work with. Giant blue suede couch. Never thought of doing this before, but the colors are really cool. Another lamp. I'm really liking the idea of maybe doing a lamp for this resize it. There are a lot of couches here, so we want to make a couch. Lots of ideas. Leather couch, teal couch, recliner couch, Saggy couch. Is it comfortable? <laughs> Green couch. This is cool. I'm liking all of these really vibrant colors. Wait a minute. What's that back there? Let's go take a look. This little green chair. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> that she <laughs> just has to sit in while I'm looking at it has some really cool lines. Look at the arms on this chair. The bottom of it is gold. That's pretty cool. It's like a, a faux velvet. I like this chair for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I really like it. I like the texture, I like the shape, and I really like those purple vases right next to it. Now how to make that, I have no idea, but I feel like that is a necessity for this chair. Check out this vase. Okay, I'm loving all of these lines. We have to figure out how to make the vase. There are two of them right here. They are different sizes and they are sitting on little tables. I like this little table too, so that's an option as well to do a circular top, kind of, sort of, with some triangular legs. We can do that. I really like the purple of the vases next to the green of the chair. Wild colors, but hey, let's live wild. Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. I don't have green velvet laying around, so I have to run into the fabric store to pick it up. Joanne's has a fantastic assortment of colors, styles, textures. So yeah, we're gonna look around here right quick. Ooh, loving all of the different Halloween fabrics. It's so pretty. What? <laughs> what are you doing? It's like dragon scales. <gasps> this is why we are not allowed in stores. We are in the minky section. See, minky. And we used some of these in our last video for the little throw at the bottom of the bed. But this color looks pretty close. It's a little off, but it might work. We'll put this one on the possible list. I found the velvets and not quite the right color green. This one's kind of close. I just want something a little more vibrant. I can't find the perfect color. I'm just gonna have to pick one that is as close as possible. Whoa, is that a faux green leather? That is awesome! And it's really thin. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I think I need it. We are back in the studio and ready to resize it. Let's start with the vase, cause I know there is some drying time there. Let's roll a paper tube to look like a cone. Use a glue stick to secure the end. Trim off the bottom. Take something round like an Easter egg. Put a piece of paper on top and kind of squish it to the shape of the egg. Apply glue and add a second piece of paper. This is a great way to recycle paper, since we're gonna paint it anyway. Then allow it to dry. Trim off the excess paper, trim the top of the cone, remove the plastic egg, place it on top of the cone. It's sticking out too far. I need to trim this a little more. Glue it on. Take the piece we cut from the bottom and glue it to the top. Glue on strips of paper 
I'm using a glue stick so the paper doesn't get too wet and I'm hoping it'll cut down on drying time. Cut a small piece of cardboard and glue it to the bottom. Using hot glue, I carefully begin to wrap it with lines of glue going all the way around. They're not the most even lines, but I'm thinking when it's all done, it'll have a really nice effect. Allow it to dry. While waiting, let's get started on the chair. I'm using recycled cardboard for the base of my structure. I start by drawing a rectangle. This is five inches by four inches. Draw a long rectangle. Cut out the two rectangles. On the long rectangle, draw a three quarter inch line around the edge, then place it around the other rectangle and trim off the excess. I have to redraw my quarter inch line on this side, then cut out the center. So it looks like this. My fabric is a dark green penne, also called crushed velvet. I glue the cardboard right on top, trim a border around it, pull the fabric over the edges and glue it in place. When I turn it over, it's nice and smooth. Glue it around the cardboard. Cool! Now I can totally see the chair coming together. Cut more strips of cardboard, measure them to the inside of the chair, stack and glue two or more together, glue on fabric to cover it. I only worried about covering the areas that will be visible. So let's go ahead and cover the front of this cardboard right here as well. Then begin gluing the covered cardboard inside. I'm just working around the inside, measuring and gluing as I go. Just finished the bottom two sides, then the back, the sides, the upper sides, and the back. To make the cushions, I'm using some leftover foam board I am always trying to find ways to use our scraps. I cut two pieces and glue them into the bottom, making sure they are flush across the front. Cover the front with fabric. I'm guessing we didn't have to cover that bottom cardboard, but hey, we're learning as we go. Cut three more pieces of foam that fit the seat, stack and glue them together. Cut three more smaller rectangles, glue them together for the back cushion. Glue fabric to the front and back, trimming the edges after gluing each side. This will help to reduce bulk. Cut the fabric into strips, fold over the sides and use a sewing machine to sew a straight stitch going all the way down. On one side, then the other. Glue it around the edge of the cushion to give it a clean finish. Repeat for the back cushion. Then let's go around the arms. We're on a roll here. All this gluing is making the chair a lot stronger. Let's put the cushions on the chair. Not bad. Trace the bottom on paperboard. Cut on the lines drawn to give us a footprint of the chair. Cut square wooden dowels into two inch pieces. If you don't have square wooden dowels, you can just take a couple of popsicle sticks, cut them, and then stack and glue them together. Cut four and glue them to the corners. Cut and glue more wood to fit around the edge. Glue two more along the short side for support. Paint it gold, then allow it to dry. While waiting, let's go back to the vase and paint it purple using acrylic paint. I had to use a couple of coats to cover all the glue. I made a second one, but they don't stand on their own all that great. So let's make a small scene just like the one we saw at Rooms To Go. Measure and mark a 14 by nine inch, cut on the lines drawn, repeat, stack and glue a few together to make it thicker. Cover with scrapbook paper, glue it onto a small piece of foam board. The extra thick walls really help it to stand up. Glue down craft sticks to make a hardwood floor. Glue on foam for a baseboard. 
to make a mini room that we can use as a partition with our other sets. Just checking, everything feels dry. So let's glue the two purple vases right into the corner. Glue the covered chair onto the gold platform to complete the chair. Place it in the mini room. Now we just need one more thing. Oh, I know. Cut a leftover piece of foam board, paint it. I did yellow on the bottom. Let's do a little ocean breeze on top. Mix the colors together. Mix in a little gold. I'm using the end of a piece of paperboard to make a few lines. Let's add another one going the opposite direction. Maybe here and there. Oops, oh well, it's art. There are no mistakes, only happy accidents, remember? In the famous words of Bob Ross, let's just palette that on there or scrape it on there, get some good texture. Let it dry, put poster putty on the back, push it onto the wall to use as a work of art and complete our rooms to go resize it. So here is the original chair and here is our miniature. I think that's pretty close. We might have gone overboard with this resize it by making the mini room and a few accessories. But we didn't make the little side tables, so. Mm. But I love the chair. I think this is one of the coolest chairs we have ever made. The sides and back is out and the cushions are removable. Whoa, that's a great look too. And our collectibles look great with it. Thank you for joining us for another Resize It. Let us know if we got close in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my Froggy Stuff and the Frog Vlog, and we'll see you next time. Bye!